This is a walkthrough video of 3364 Española. This is a huge house, 3,200 square, over 3,000 square feet under air, um, listed by Caldwell Banker. This is in um, old Forest, I guess it's Forest Lake subdivision, but that's the golf course right on this side of the street. All the houses on this street are very well kept. And um, this is uh, part of an estate and not a lot has been done to this house. It's kind of like the land that time forgot. But if you notice, there's two separate entrances. So there's a totally separate mother-in-law suite there um, with its own separate entrance. And then you have this, which is a four bedroom, two bath on this side, that being a one bedroom, one bath. Um, this place could be cleaned up and made really nice. Right now they just finished with an estate sale, so there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. And so I'm going to, let's see, how am I going to do this? It does have a pool. There's a lot of stuff in here. And um, there's, um, their estate sale didn't sell too well. But we have terrazzo floors. There are a few cracks in the terrazzo, but there was never carpet in this. So there aren't any tack holes and tack strips that, that have damaged the terrazzo that need to be fixed. I'm going to start at this end and work back because it's a huge house. Give you a little glimpse of the kitchen. Um, you know, they were selling all this stuff, obviously. But um, it does have granite, but older cabinets. This is the master bedroom, okay? It has terrazzo, and I didn't even notice this pocket slider that goes out to this, which I guess they were using as a closet. But, um, hmm. I don't know how I'd incorporate that. I guess I'd leave it as a closet, maybe. I don't know exactly what I'd do with that. The master bathroom here has one sink with a beautiful yellow sink. <laughs> it's just kind of wacky. The tile is kind of crazy. You know, if you were to paint this tile, because it goes everywhere, rather than change it out, could be really nice actually. So yeah, only have a shower in here. You can see the terrazzo in each one of these closets. Closet, linen closet, more closet. And so then the kitchen here, which is, it's okay. Um, it is a nice granite, but the probably get new faces for the kitchen. There's all this wallpaper that's on like every surface. Definitely has to go. The garage, the garage is big. It's a big garage. We got the washer and dryer out here. I like how the water heater's tucked back there. This is a newer panel, a ginormous panel. God, I don't think I've ever seen a panel that big. Um, so that's all in good condition. It's a nice garage, no issues here. Then you have, uh, I figure that this was the, this was the lanai, and this was, the, the slider was removed, those wind slider was put over there, and then they still have a slider over there. So, if you were reconfiguring this kitchen, I probably would take this wall out and have this more open to the dining area. No real sense for that wall to be there. The ceiling has some really nice features. Um, I really like the detail and the plaster that runs along this room. It's all in very good condition. Um, let me see how I'm gonna, it's, it's kind of complicated. Uh, I'm gonna walk around outside afterwards. So this is a bedroom. And I thought this was like mold, but this is, this is like plaster. This is an old, old school house, and this is what from the vintage where they were built to last. The pink bathroom, as I call it, because it's pink. Again, we have this tile that goes all the way up. I see a little issue up there, but um, yeah, this is this is <laughs> definitely pink. I have to do something with that. Oh, this funny little closet. It's got a closet there, and a closet here. And if it wasn't such a hassle, I'd probably almost blow that out because this whole thing just to have this closet could have been a lot more open here. But the terrazzo would have to be fixed where you did that. Okay, bedroom number, this is guest bedroom number two. So we're gonna, so we don't lose count. Um, old Jaloese windows pretty much everywhere. Um, 
They're asking $399, which works out to be at $131 per square foot. And I think they're pretty motivated. So this is bedroom number three. It does have a closet. And this is where we're going to switch to the old part of the house. We have two t different types of terrazzo, surprisingly. That's, I've never really seen that in a house. Two different types of terrazzo. And so this door would remain closed if you separating this apartment. So this would be the bedroom for the apartment. And it's very spacious over here. Um, you got two little closets. Uh, window AC there, so I don't know what the situation is with the AC over here, but I'll take a look. So you have all sorts of closets here. A little, little linen closet, you got a big walk-in closet, which is nice. And I'm gonna call this the teal bathroom. Guess why? So, um, you know, all the tile is actually really good. Again, painting the tile is, and the tub is a possibility. Just make it sweet. Probably replace that vanity. So this is a big, big room, and I did notice uh, there was a leak or something, some discoloration here. Perhaps a long time ago, we don't know we need to dig into it, but there was some discoloration on the ceiling there. Um, big room, though. I mean, it's a huge room. And this would be the kitchen that is uh, vintage. I mean, look at this thing. You know, like metal. That's awesome. So this little fridge has its own little water heater there. That water heater is pretty old. And this is where the stove would go. I assume, even though I don't see an outlet for it, Oh, that's the access to the, I don't see an outlet for the stove, I wonder, just that outlet, and a 220 outlet, so I don't know. Um, so I'm going to go out this door and just look around the back, but um, this is a cool house. I'm not going to lie, if I can get out, maybe I can't. I can't. I'll go back out the other way which is fine, we'll get another view of everything. Really do like this terrazzo. It's got really nice colors in there with the red and the pink. It's better than this terrazzo. This terrazzo just has more of the blue, gray, and brown. A little dingy looking, but could be shined up. And it's everywhere. Okay, so I'm going back out the door here. And I just want to go around back. So this is a separate entranceway. You know, this is this is real brick, which is nice. Crazy about the color. So it's block, and then that appears to be wood, and then we're brick and block again. So I can't figure out if there were two homes that were attached, or it must have been built like this, but to have two different types of terrazzo, I just can't figure that out. Now, I didn't realize that was a slider there. Okay, I would have gone out that way. But we're sitting, uh, this is what's really nice about this. You have this big, big area here. You could put another garage. Um, could do a lot of things. Be nice to have another garage if you wanted a workshop or something. Okay, there's one AC and that looks old. The roof is kind of funky. I, it, it doesn't look bad, but it has these um, tiles at the ridges, which is weird. Um, that is one ugly bush. But so we're sitting, um, that's just the little drainage, drainage canal that goes through here. The pool surface looks horrible, but the pool looks decent. Here's a shot of the roof. This is a cool old house. And this is actually a really nice pool. Nice it had a cage, something that could be added. And, um... I don't know, I like this house. There's something about it. Well, I like the price. I think, especially if you got it in the low, lower 300s, this would be a really good value. But someone looking for a mother-in-law suite. And here's what, I'm, here's what I'm talking about. See that? That siding there? It's almost like that was added. I can't, because that's block. I just don't quite get it, how that, how that, goes and this pad being here like a little patio well in any event Española Drive great great location cool house I don't know why I like this house so much there's I guess I like it for the mother-in-law suite I like the neighborhood the great tree here 
it's just, um, I think, a pretty cool house. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.